Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. A special hello to any first time visitors to my channel. I hope this is the first of many visits. In fact, let's take a moment and have you hit that subscribe button down below and ding that bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. In today's video, I'm going to provide a review of the MZ Wallace Crosby backpack that you see right here. I'm going to provide you with basic information on the bag, including dimensions, color availabilities, and price. Then what I'm going to do is load it up the way I use it, and then provide you with some mod shots of the backpack fully loaded the way I carry it. And then at the end, I'm going to provide you with my thoughts on the backpack. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here is the Crosby backpack. According to the MZ Wallace website, it measures 11.6 inches across, 5.5 inches wide, 14 inches in height, and weighs 1.76 pounds. It currently retails for $345 and comes in four different colors. This particular bag, the Crosby backpack, is part of the larger Crosby collection, which MZ Wallace released about two years ago, so it's relatively new. It is similar to the Metro collection that they have, but obviously with some little tweaks. It's got more leather trim and detail to the bag, as you can see by those corners, and this strap right here. And then obviously it has metal, a little more metal involved. The zippers are all metal, as you can see the teeth are all metal, whereas with the Metro they're plastic zippers. Since I purchased this bag, it came out with a newer version called the Crosby Traveler. And the difference between this one and that newer one is one little detail. This back pocket here, which you can see, at the very bottom on the Traveler, it unzips so that you can then open that pocket up so you will end up losing this pocket when you unzip that. So keep that in mind. You unzip it, you lose this pocket, but then this turns into a sleeve that you can slide over your carry-on. They also released a small Crosby backpack, which is smaller than this one. The measurements overall um, are smaller than this by anywhere from 0.2 inches up to two inches. So if you are looking for a smaller option, they have that for you as well. I will actually link to the entire Crosby collection down in the comments. I will also link to this particular backpack because they do still have it available. And what I will do as well is link to the other three colors. For some reason on the MZ Wallace website, they have a link that takes you just to the black color and then a separate link that takes you to the other three colors available. I don't know why, but I will include both those for you in case you are interested in this bag, but not in black. I will also link to the Crosby Traveler backpack in case you are looking for that option to create a sleeve here so that you can put it over your carry-on. And then I will also link to the small backpack if that is something you're interested in. So now that we've gotten all the bare basic details out of the way, I'll give you the quick tour. So as you can see, lots and lots of exterior pockets. We've got that back one that I mentioned to you here. This one, like I said, is not the Traveler, so I cannot unzip it. It's just a pocket here where you could put magazines, books, whatever you want. Got the two side pockets here, which you can tell have nice leather trim. You've got this one pocket here that runs the length, short pocket. You've got this other pocket right here. You can see that this whole thing here is that pocket. You've got another pocket. MZ Wallace is all about organization, so the fact that there are all these exterior compartments and, and ways to keep you organized will come as no surprise if you are a veteran to the brand. You know that this is, this is what they do. They try to keep you organized. So you've got all those pockets. Open it up. And here you are greeted not by their six pocket option inside. You've got seven. Why seven? Because it has this padded pocket back here that will accommodate a laptop. But then, obviously, you've got their traditional zip pocket there. And as you can see, make sure this focuses. You've got the MZ, there we go, MZ Wallace New York written right there. You've got that zip pocket. And then you've got the, the two pockets right here. Inside that pocket, flip it around. Oh, I actually forgot. You've got that little card pocket right here. So this will hold business cards, it'll hold a commuter 
uh, transit card, flip it around, you've got your cell phone pocket here and then the flatter pocket. And this one also has this key ring and attached to it is this little pouch. Now, unlike the Metro, this one will not fold. I mean, look how teeny tiny it is. The backpack will not fold into this. I would just use this as a catch-all in here for odds and ends things that, you know, you didn't want to put anywhere else. And then before we get into the packing, I want to make sure I show you the bottom. No feet on the backpack. There we go. Got the diamond and the MZ Wallace New York right there on the bottom. And then of course you've got the straps for the backpack and you know you can adjust them quite a bit. I actually have it on the longest length. So now what I'm going to do is load it up and show you how I carry it. Okay, here is the Crosby backpack. It is still totally empty, so I will show you what I load into it. I've got, first thing, I've got this PD pouch from MZ Wallace. It's got some work keys and other work-related type items in here. And I usually just leave that handy right in the front pocket. I've got my MZ Wallace Betty pouch that has loyalty cards and coupons. I typically just throw that in this bigger pocket right over there. Got headphones. Also put them in this pocket. This outside pocket here, I'll put in some hand sanitizing wipes. See, they're a nice size. It's not really, it's travel, but it is, it's, it's quite big. Falls right in, not a problem. And then in there, I put my MZ Wallace Harlow wristlet. It's, I would say it's kind of like their wallet on chain type equivalent. I will do a video on this at some point. I haven't done it as of yet, but when I do make a video on this particular piece, I will make sure to update my uh, description box below and have that link down there for you. So stay tuned. I put that in here because in the winter, you know, sometimes you just want to go run an errand and it's nice to have a smaller option so you don't have to take the whole backpack with you. So that and the wipes will go in there. Let's see. Let's flip it to the back here. Now, if you have folders or you want to put a magazine, that's what I brought here. This is just a folder just to show you how much it can hold. Pop that in there. It goes right in. Not a problem. Obviously it will stick out a little bit, but it's against your body, so it's it's not a big deal at all. Got a 16 ounce swell bottle that you can slide right in here on the side. The inside is still empty, like I said. You've just got that one pouch, which I let fall to the bottom, have it on me handy if and when needed. I don't need it at the moment, so I just leave it down there. I've got my little Kindle. And I'll put that, since I don't carry a laptop with me, I just use that as my, my computer type item and just toss it in that laptop compartment back there. My Kate Spade Lacey wallet will go in here. I've done a video on this. I will link that down below in case you are interested in a full size wallet with a bunch of compartments and, and can hold quite a bit. Put that at the bottom. And sometimes, to be honest with you, I will toss it back here. So you know, in that laptop compartment. That way it doesn't fall to the bottom in case I need to get to it quickly. So I'll just actually leave that back there for now. I've got my limited edition Mother's Day pouch from 2016. It's got all my uh, teeth products in here. I am currently doing Invisalign. So I've got toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, all those goodies. Those are in there. I've got this pouch with some personal items like medicine, a travel brush, some oil blotting wipes. Put that in there. Another pouch, just with some more personal items. Just throw that in there. And then don't laugh at me, but I've got this little Ziploc of just basic emergency makeup type stuff. I've got lip mascara here. I've got some tinted moisturizer some hair ties, just something, you know, to have handy in, a, in case of an emergency. And I just toss that right over here in that, that cell phone compartment. It just fits in there quite nicely. So it goes right there. Sunglasses. And then I have this 
very bulky, actually, if you can get an idea for its bulk, very big scarf. I always, in the winter, have one with me in case the office is a little too cold on a particular day. And since I, as you can tell, I do have the space for it, I just toss it right here at the top, just like so, and then zip it closed. And even when I'm commuting, you know, there's still enough room, like when I'm on the train and if I need to take my gloves off or take my, you know, headband off, I will open it just a little bit like so, and then just shove them in there and zip it. And there it is. Now I have to admit, I don't carry a water bottle on the side here very often. I actually have another bag that I take with me to work where I put my water bottle, but I did want to show you that obviously it can and will accommodate a water bottle there on the side for you. But that is how it looks like, giving you the 360 here with it loaded up. Okay, back to the front. So that is everything that I put in this backpack when I take it with me to work. Now what I'll do is provide you with some mod shots of the backpack on me. And for reference, I am five foot six. Okay, so here is the Crosby backpack on me. Like I said, I am five foot six. And I do have these straps, like I said earlier in the video, they're at their longest length. So keep that in mind. This is on someone who's five foot six with the straps at their longest. This is where it's hitting. Obviously you shorten it up a bit, it's gonna to start to ride up your back a little more. So keep that in mind. It's very comfortable. Uh, again, this all boils back down to personal preference, but backpacks obviously allow for the ability to carry more because of the weight distribution across your back versus a shoulder bag or a handheld bag. So I am okay with the weight. It has a decent amount of stuff in it, in my opinion, doesn't bother me at all. The fact that the backpack on its own weighs under two pounds is obviously a great perk because it does not contribute to the total weight of the bag too, too much. You can't say, oh, I'm already starting with a bag that's five pounds on its own. So that's a nice little thing. So you can end up carrying a little bit more and not having it weigh more, if that makes sense. All right, now I wanted to take a couple of minutes and let you know my thoughts on this backpack. I really think it's a great piece. I love that it is very lightweight on its own, just under two pounds, so that you can load it up and carry whatever you need to without getting too heavy too quickly. I like the look of the bag. You know, when someone says, I use a backpack for work, or oh, I need to grab my backpack, you probably get a certain image in your mind of what that backpack looks like. And I probably would bet you that it's not this. I think it's uh, an edgier look to a backpack. It's uh, chic. It's uh, city appropriate, more modern, more adult, work appropriate look to it, which I, I really appreciate. I use this backpack in the winter time because when the coats come out and all that heavy, thick, big gear comes out so that we can stay warm, I don't know about you, but me personally, when I have to put my shoulder bag on my shoulder with that big bulky coat on, I find myself constantly fighting to keep it. I'm constantly doing this the whole commute. For whatever reason, I don't know, I have broad shoulders, so I don't know how I have this issue, but in the winter time with a coat and a shoulder bag, we just don't agree. So a backpack for me in the winter is usually the way I go and it, it served my purpose very well. The organization obviously is excellent. You have a number of pockets on the outside, a number of pockets on the inside. You know, when you have a backpack and you're not carrying things that are vertical like books, it's very easy to get everything jumbled up and turn into a mess and you're digging like crazy. These compartments, both on the inside and out, allow you to stay organized, which I really appreciate. I actually use this on my trip to Europe. This was my second carry-on and I, it was great. You know, like like I've said with this, it weighs so little and with, with the traveling limitations and weight limitations on airplanes these days, this fit all the requirements of the measurements for your personal item. And then because it weighed so little on its own, I was able to load it up and not exceed the weight limit allowed to me for my personal item. So for that purpose, it is it is great. With the smushy fabric of the of the Crosby and the Metro fabrics, you know, when I when I didn't want to use this as my bag, I would kind of scrunch it all up, shove it in my carry-on, no problem, bring it back out. Obviously, you see there are no issues to it. It doesn't look like it's been smushed and, and, and pushed in, into a carry-on. I mean, that's why it's that's why it is so soft and supple, so you can do those things. 
So for travel, this really, this really is a gem. The one thing I would have to say that I don't love is its price. I think $345 is a bit steep for a backpack, you know, boil it down at the end of the day. It's a lot of money. I think if it were priced just beneath $300, it would be a little more better priced, in my personal opinion, of course. But, you know, obviously that didn't deter me from purchasing it. I, I obviously own it. I've used it. I, I get a lot of use out of it. So I, I would say I've gotten my money's worth out of it. I hope you liked this video and that it provided you with some information, perhaps answered some questions or concerns you might have had over this backpack. Like I said, I'll put all the links down below, a link that'll take you to the entire Crosby collection, a link that'll take you to this exact backpack, a link that'll take you to the other three colors available in this backpack, a link to the traveler backpack option if you want the option of a sleeve, and lastly, a link to the small Crosby backpack. So if you did enjoy this video, please do give it that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below, ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.